Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Dead Cells. Let's play a run. I gotta, I gotta work on my intro. I, I realized this the other day when I was... Ooh, I mean, the torch is pretty... That's not the torch, that's the flaming throw thing, but you know what, let's go for pan. Um, I realized this the other day when I was doing some, just like, editing. I realized that every single one of my videos, I open it up with a, Hello, my name is Abe! Like, I need to... I need to be a little bit more uh, 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 <laughs> verbal with my introduction and say, why hello there, my name is Abe, and like slow it down a little bit. I, I just, it's just something that I do. I've, I've gotten into the habit of saying it fast because it's the intro and you gotta get through it fast in order to get, well you don't have to get through it fast, I've just been getting through it fast. But it's your intro, you say it ev for like every single video. I gotta, I gotta slow it down a little bit. Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome to Dead Cells. Burr, 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 burr. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down now. You freaking rat, get out of here. I like the pan. The pan is a pretty good weapon, although I would, I'll be honest with you, I would have been very happy going with the twin daggers. There's just something about running into an enemy and hitting him in the face with a pan that just brings, you know, love to, to my life and my eyes. Makes me happy. Pans make me happy. This is um, one of the worst elites. Although that should get him. And you know I can parry his shots. Does the, um, does the Crush Trap not hit the thing? I guess, you know, I had to do it like this. I guess Crush Trap does not actually, uh, hit the... So, hold on, gotta do some stuff here. You burn the ground when you dodge? Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess Crush Trap does not break the, the crystals, which is very strange. Hold on, I gotta do it like this. I'm always surprised by those little, um, those little things about dead cells. Like, why, why doesn't, the, why doesn't the crush trap destroy the crystals? <laughs> the crystals are are the most annoying part about most of the elites. Those crystals that either buff it or the crystals that give it a, um, a like turret that fire at you. I hate both of those. Where are we going on this run, by the way? We have one more location to go on the map up to the Arboretum. Maybe this could just be a DLC route. Do both the DLCs and um, get the mapping done. Does this thing pierce? Pyrotechnic shot pierce the first target 15% damage. That's actually a pretty good pyrotechnic. It's a freaking another one. It's actually a pretty good pyrotechnic. Because one thing about uh, about some of the weapons in the game, especially some of the pseudo-ranged weapons, is that they don't pierce. Um, boy's Axe is... is no wait, is, is it Boy's Axe? It's one of the axes. It's like Boy's Axe or um, Axe Shrapnel or whatever it is. You know, those don't pierce. So it's really hard to take those as a ranged weapon when they can only hit a single target. Did I kill you? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But Pyrotechnics, it's another one that is uh, a pretty decent weapon, but a lot better when it can actually start piercing your targets. We're not gonna take Barnacle. We're not gonna take uh, the Weird Feather either. In case you haven't noticed, we're probably gonna do another Brutality Run, or at least I should say, try to do another Brutality Run. Because, good lord, I've been pretty bad regarding brutal Brutality lately. Insert, it's not a brutality, it's a fatality. But no, and also, hey, you! But honestly, like, I really do need to get better at the brutality run, so <laughs> we're gonna try it. <laughs> Promenade, no thank you. We're going up to the Arboretum this time. We have a couple of things left to do on this, on this level. Mighty Odin says, Five Guys Never Disappoints, that burger was so good. You! 
Yeah, let's get this. I really do need to... I should have eaten something before I started the, the stream for today. I'm gonna have to like take a break at some point just to eat. Everyone talking about... Uh, about food. Oh, I'm so hungry. So hungry. You are saying tactics wrong. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I should be doing a, a, a tactics run. Oh, okay. My bad. No, I do I do tactics runs all the damn time, and they're uh, probably the the best runs that I do. They end up being the best runs. I, I want to try to get some some like more skill at brutality here. <clears throat> the problem is, is that I keep taking things like pyrotechnics on my brutality runs, things that are a little bit ranged, but I, you know, maybe that's just a natural evolution of, uh, of your gameplay once you get to 5 BC mode, because the less I engage the enemies, the better off I will be. So it makes sense for me to naturally start swinging towards um, these uh, ranged weapons, even on brutality, even when I used to be, uh, you know, a very big proponent on the melee weapons in the game. I used to be very happy to, to find uh, good swords and and try out all the new weapons and whatnot. Although I will say that um, some of the oh, this is a little hole. Some of the um, Weapons I've just gotten lucky on in the past, I think, like some of the melee runs, where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a melee run. You have a legendary assassin's blade. Ooh, you know, I'd be happy to have one of those. Let's do it. Ba ba ba. Let's see what we get. Blood sword. Blood sword. I can't say no to the pan though. Like its its damage is just way better than the blood sword. The blood sword's damage is probably like well, it's probably like twelve hundred DPS, but it takes twelve seconds to get the bleed out there unless you hit him five times. I guess that's that's the idea though, right? You hit him five times, and then they'll take all of that bleed damage all at once because that's how bleed operates. Hmm. 1300 Zells. We're getting there. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. <laughs> um, start with no mercy. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get into the habit of paying attention to whether or not I have the hunter's grenade. If I've got it, no mercy. If I don't have it, probably a disengagement just to keep me alive. But like, there's something to be said about just running up to all the enemies, killing them at range before they even have any chance of reacting to you, and then just being done with it. We'll come back and do this at the end. Hey, Benchom! Thank you for the resub for eight months. It's been a few weeks, boys. Hello. Yeah, it's been more than a few weeks, it feels like. Good to see you, though. Elite Eater! Speaking of legendaries. Seemed like that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Spike boots! Critical hit if the kicked interrupts an enemy. Well, we're about to pick up whatever the heck this weapon is, so uh, let's see. Fire blasts. Well, you know, that's kind of exactly what I was talking about for, uh, for a ranged weapon. Unfortunately, not very good critical hits right now, but I'm, I'm totally willing to replace my backpack shield with it. And we'll see if we can't uh, find a way of inflicting oil on the enemies. Lacerating Aura does not. Uh, if we can get oil, then we can get guaranteed critical hits, which will buff the damage quite nicely. Whatever. Yeah, just a, I, I definitely feel it a lot of like, I don't want to get close to the enemies, but the pan is is good enough. You know, we should we should not be afraid to get up into the enemies' grills and just smack them with a pan. Hey. Oh, good lord. 
I was gonna say, like, um, I don't remember you ever being a unit that can spawn up here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Guy with the um, frickin' like weird saw. Your melee tier is increased. Oh damn it! <laughs> um, let's go survival. Did they ever fix the, fix the hunter's mirror bug? It was broken for many. Says Salvage Drifter. How was the hunter's mirror bugged? Because I, I never had any problems with the Hunter's Mirror. Um, right now, it doesn't show anything, but that's because I'm out of blueprints. So I'm curious how it was bugged for people. Get out of here, rat. Um, let's go up here. We gotta go get that scroll of power. Generic Tim. By the way, your malaise tier is increased. By the way, uh, I'm just here to call to inform you about your malaise tier being increased. You know what? See you later. I don't believe it. No, I completely believe it. There we go. We might not get our uh, our 60 off of that hit, but whatever. New rates for your long distance malaise. We do get malaise everywhere for some reason. Why do you? Why do you? Why do we get malaise? If we are like a weird head, surely being a weird head gives us some sort of resistance to malaise effects, right? Surely being some sort of weird head who has like. No actual, um, I don't know, body, corporeal body. I'm just a head. I'm just a, a, a mush, a green mush. Surely we should have some resistance to the malaise. Guess not. We gotta go here. This is the door. Like, I know that um, the malaise is wrecking havoc everywhere, but, you know, I'm, I'm in, an immortal head. If you could be an immortal head, would you be an immortal head? On the one hand, I wouldn't want to fight eaters all, all day and all night, but immortal head. God, stop spawning in all these freaking enemies. But yeah, we're not going to get to 60, I don't think. Taking a little bit too much damage. Didn't show the monster correctly. You either saw nothing or just part of the intended target. Oh, well, definitely, um, Salvage Drifter. Definitely, I've had problems in the past reading the, uh, the mirror, especially when a tick is displayed, because the tick is such a large creature, it just shows, like, a purple mash. So I've definitely had that problem with the mirror in the past. But it hasn't been too bad. I was able to figure it out all the times. There we go. It's food. Ah, oh, I didn't even see you. You were in the middle of the the poison. Oops. Oops. Luckily, you uh, still get poisoned, or still get uh, burned. So many things to kill. What did he say? Did he say ye? He's like, wee! Okay, knock it off. Knock it off. There's a lot of stuff happening in that room, Jesus. Hello, just so I don't forget you. I like how all of his emotes are Gungeon, but we haven't seen him play in like a month. Yeah, it's been a little bit longer than that, but hey, needed a break. Milk Jug, well, welcome. 
<coughs> oh god, excuse me. Long time no see, it's good to see ya. Oh my god, my voice is, is like completely shot today. <laughs> That's been happening, hasn't it? More and more voice burnout. Oh lord. Da, 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 da. Dead Cells Man emote. It's hard to fit a good emote into uh, into a small space, but I would totally do a Dead Cells emote. Can Estrelli welcome? How you doing today? What? Oh. You know, I was actually thinking about that. I was like, why did that trap activate? There's no one there. Turns out there was someone there. They were, uh, they were just invisible. There you go. It looked like his saw killed his friend. <laughs> I know that's not what, what happened, but it looked cool. Malaise cleared, let's go. Whenever you see that, you can slow down a little bit and you can maybe, if you're lucky, actually get up to 60 now. Well, uh, I think we might be able to. Yeah, there's probably 10 enemies left. As long as they don't get hit, we've got it. Ah. Didn't expect you to show up though. I guess, of course, the other thing you can do is just literally wait for the enemies to spawn in. Like, you can just farm the enemies and eventually you'll hit your, uh, your kill target. God damn it. I tried to, I tried to jump over the attack. I know you're not supposed to do that, but, like, it was a last minute thing. <laughs> I just, I was at like 58 kills. I just wanted to get a, get around his attack that I knew was coming in. Ah, whatever. Hey, dude. Um, okay, so we are done. We've done, we've been everywhere. We've done everything. The only thing that I'm gonna do is look for new weapons. Just to see what we get. Fire Blast, well, well we definitely do not need a upgrade to that. Blood Sword, 28 DPS for two seconds, probably like 1400 or 1500 damage. Four pans doing 19 on a crit. Torch is actually really good. Very high damage uh, burn if you can get it. So it's actually very good for getting uh, burn synergies, but I don't think we need to replace the weapon that we have. I just want like, I mean, I was gonna say better pyrotechnics, but we could do, we could do an oiled sword. I think that the oiled sword has a little bit of, um, has a little bit of a delay on one of its swings when, uh, before you can dodge roll. So I think that that's why when I use the oiled sword, I end up taking a little bit of damage. Hmm. Ken Estrelli says, I too miss watching Gungeon streams. I mean, we'll, we'll play it again at some point, probably. It's a very good weapon, though. I mean, we can, get, we can get the fire absurdly easily with this. I think we should take it. I think we should take it. We should double down on the fire synergy when we have it. And now we have oil to go along with our fire, so everything is going to do more damage anyways. Monster Train is buried, Monster Train is fun. Uh, yeah, good old Monster Train and Slay the Spire. Those are fun games, but uh, played the crap out of them. Where are we going? Go up here. Whatever. I pretty much 100%ed those games. Like, I saw all the content that the game had, at least. It's very easy to get the, the oil up on the enemies. I, and I, I need to experiment with this, but it feels like maybe if you can oil up the enemy repeatedly, then the fire stacks will never go away on the enemy. Because if, if you are, if fire doesn't go away as long as there's oil and you keep applying oil to the enemy, then doesn't that mean that the, that the fire stacks will stay forever? 
and they'll just keep stacking up. Oh, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Whew! <laughs> Couple of clan matchups to fill out on the progress book before you 100% monster train. That is correct. There's a couple of clan combinations it didn't uh, win as. And also a couple of new challenges that I never did. Because um, I kept adding them in. But uh, otherwise, I, I pretty much 100% of that game. I did do Act 4 victories with all characters in Ascension 20 and Slay the Spire. I did do that. Okay, go fast. It feels like you can you can stall at the beginning, but you can't. Seda Stiletto. Or Legendary Fire Blast. You know, actually, I think we I think we take the fire blast. And then we don't really need to hold on to the Seda Stiletto, but if we ever change our synergy, maybe we'd like it. I think I think this is okay. So now we have easy fire and easy oil and easy fire oil synergies. And also we just we just do good damage too. So uh, we gotta wait for this guy, who's going to teleport. Well, he's gonna teleport after he does this nonsense. And hello you. Hello you again. Just burn him. Just burn him. Let the fire cleanse all. Oh, Jesus. It was a phaser. You always gotta be a little surprised about those guys. A little careful. Well, we, we cleansed the curse. <laughs> it's one of the scariest curse cleanses. Uh, but it has been done. No, don't do that. I just want to see the crits and I want to see the fire stack up. Oh, that's good. It does seem pretty good. But yeah, that's the. Sh there is a short. It's quite short, but there is a short delay. I, I, I can't deal with this many enemies. I'm just gonna have to do this. Uh, there's a short delay on when you use the uh, the sword and when you can actually dodge roll after you get the second swing. It's very small, but it does exist. Why are you not teleporting to me? <laughs> it's good, um, good crit damage off of the fire, though. Oh my god. This is, uh, kind of annoying. It's, it's, it's my least favorite elite, the one that has the crystals on him. Although I guess, um, they do, they do move. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you have such a good range on that. They do move, so I can get him to, to follow me down a corridor, and then the crystals won't be able to, to keep him alive anymore, so that's something. What? Oh, you, you didn't die, you just, like, kicked one of my biters. Oh, God. Taking a lot of damage here. What the heck? Fired a barrel at me. There's disengagement active. This has not been a very good floor. Maybe you should have stuck with the uh, the better range of pyrotechnic or something. I I literally got stuck. I was trying to dodge roll past him. Yeah, it's, there's like a there's a short delay on when you can dodge roll when you use the um the oiled sword. So you do attack attack. And then you can't dodge roll for like a quarter of a second. And there's a lot of times when I just want to get in one quick hit before I do a dodge roll. Um, but because of that short delay, I just never, I'm, I'm never able to dodge roll fast enough. So I always get hit on uh, on a shot. And uh, against that guy, I just, I tried to spam the dodge roll button to get behind him, but I couldn't. Um, let's try this real quick. 
So that was a little bit unfortunate, but uh, honestly to be a little bit expected because I did exactly what I said um, would happen. Yes, fine. Or what happened is exactly what I said would happen, is that we would get a little bit delayed. But that's okay. Syringe God run? Well, not with an early syringe, but um, syringe is a very funky weapon. One of the weirder weapons in the game, considering that you can use it to kill bosses on its own extremely quickly. I mean, I, I did use it to nearly flawless some bosses in the past before, like the... Um, I think I used it to almost flawless the giant once. Go ahead. Invisible man. Gotta go this way. Oh man, you know what? We missed out on having the uh We missed out on having the um he shot my barrel and the barrel hit me! <laughs> we missed out on having the uh, challenge room because we got we died on <laughs> the last run. <laughs> uh, that's truly what I uh, what I hate. So barrel launcher, I mean you saw the the kind of the problem with it, which is that if an enemy attack hits the barrel, it will turn into their barrel. So I'm not I'm not a big fan of using this for the entire run, but I figure for like the first floor it'll be okay even though we did get hit by it, like, immediately. Um, but we'll just try to be a little bit careful about using the, the barrel launcher here. Anything that has a ranged attack in particular, the ranged attack will hit the barrel, will turn the barrel into the enemy barrel, and then it will hit you, so... Gotta be a little bit careful about that. It's, it's a cool weapon, but the fact that the enemies can hit it to turn it into uh, their attack just makes me never want to use it. And I'm, I'm usually not using it anyways on bosses because I tend to, uh... Well, I tend to just not want to, the boss in order to... I, I don't want the boss to hit it and turn it into his barrel because I want to try to get the flawless, flawlesses. It's a high risk and honestly kind of a little low reward. I mean, 493 DPS normally isn't particularly amazing. 1500 damage on a crit is pretty good, but you know, the crits are kind of hard to land sometimes. Gabe doesn't like barrel launcher, hot take. I don't think it's that hot of a take. I think it's um, me trying to be a little bit, uh, a little bit choosy here. I don't want to use an, uh, a gun, <laughs> for lack of a better turn, term, uh, that can hurt me, you know? I don't want to die. By the way, your malaise tears increased. What elite is this? Whatever elite it is, he's not really doing anything. Uh, is that a turkey? Oh, let's go. Oil, extra jump. I'll take the extra jump just because an extra jump is is quite nice. Although if you can get the um, the reflected shot, it, it's the damage is pretty decent. I still probably think that it's uh, a little bit too risky to use um, consistently. But at least for now, we'll get a couple of couple of floors of use out of it probably as we upgrade our weapons slowly. I will say, if I can say. I think the prison depths is harder than the uh, than the corrupted depths. I do. I I honestly think that. I think having the invisible enemies, the invisible knife throwers, the rampagers, and the um, the spider tanks. I think all of that makes that a harder level. You've got some, and slashers too, honestly. They're very fast. 
Sure, you've got birds and the like goo monsters that chase you down in the uh, in the corrupted prison, but it's really not that bad of a location. You know, the corrupted prison, you just run away from the birds and then they'll come after you. I haven't used my weapon like once. <laughs> oh lord. Maybe we'll try a little bit more, um... I mean, if I can, um... Oh, it hit the spikes and then exploded. I mean, if I can get, like, five hits on an enemy with the bleed sword, it will kill them. They will die. I guess if I get like three stacks, I could run away and kill him. What was the weapon that I was using in a recent run where I, I figured out that that's probably how I should play it? How did he hit me? Did he hit my barrel? He was doing a running animation. Surely the barrel should explode on him. Oh my God. Um, I can't remember what weapon it was, but it was a weapon that I, I realized that what I should do is really just hit the enemy and then run away. Hmm. It is a bit slow. For like, for right now, I'm, I still think it's okay, but I want to get rid of this barrel soon. I want, I want to go, I mean, let's just be honest, I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back to the last run. I want my legendary flamethrower. I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried now about the enemies, because I'm like, what enemy can knock the barrel out of the air with their running attack? Could the spiker do it with his spike roll? Yeah, that's just a freaking chicken. You know, if the, um, if the spiker can do it with his spike roll, then I really can't use this weapon against him, because at any moment they could just do a spike roll. But I guess it's doing enough damage as is that I just point and shoot, right? As long as nothing is attacking, I'll be fine. But if anything attacks me, then I'm screwed. Careful, careful, careful. Yep, 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 his running attack hits the barrel and causes the barrel to become his barrel. That's BS. <laughs> That's absolute BS. What? He's doing a run, he's not attacking. He hit my barrel. Yo, you gotta be you gotta be careful with this freaking barrel gun. If if a mushroom running Get out of here. I see you. If a mushroom running can can activate the barrel and swap its friend or foe designation, that's a scary thing. That's a scary thought. It's okay, we got some turkey we can pick up before we leave here. I have I have also no doubt that that would happen with a, um... With the, uh, enemy that, uh, that is invisible from the clock tower. I, I don't know their names, but you know the one I'm talking about. The one that's invisible and does, like, the, uh, timekeeper attack. Like, I have no doubt that that would also cause the barrel to become his barrel, because it's an attack. It's his attack. I hate the idea of that happening, but it'll it'll probably happen. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt! I 
I wonder what would happen with the laser. Oh God. You know, would that laser be able to become his laser? That's a scary thought. Hello. You'll probably not do anything though, because I'm not close enough to you. Hmm. You mean the Bushido guys? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, the guys. Uh, the guyses. I know I've just been using the uh, the barrel gun for the entire floor after talking about how it could be awful, but it it kills things quickly and at range, which I've been uh, I've been appreciating a lot lately in dead cells. So that's that's pretty much the reason why I'm still using it. Now I have no idea how it would handle the prison depths, though. Why go Why go up? I have no idea. Like, would it? It would probably be a bad idea, but hey, as long as enemies don't hit my barrel, it'll be fine. There we go. Please. Why couldn't you be at the bottom doorway? Get out of here. The freeze effect on it is pretty nice. I do appreciate it freezing enemies. Does Bleed Sword outscale Barrel Launcher yet? Oh, absolutely. It's not about the, the Barrel Launcher doing that much damage if I shoot him in the face. It's about it being, ironically, safer than running up to enemies and hitting, hitting them in the face. You know, it's about just being able to um, to hit enemies in the back like this. eat that, although we probably didn't need it because we're just going to eat the turkey leg later, but I'll I'll invite a little bit of malaise increase to my life, why not? I, I like his little crouch animation, like, I'm going to get you! It's also a little um, hard sometimes to uh, hit with the barrel because it doesn't have the range you'd expect. Some of the uh, the barrels in the game, like the barrels from the barrel land, like the trap barrels, they bounce around forever. These things do not bounce around forever. I actually, I, I don't really appreciate the blood sword, but I do like having fire. I'm not taking this because it's a ranged weapon. I'm taking it because it's a fire weapon. My plan is to take more weapons that are also fire weapons. Oh my god. I don't know where we were, but I always hate hitting a trap. Okay, the attack where he landed also counts. For the barrel. What? I mean, it makes sense because we've learned everything that the enemy does that does damage can hit the barrel and turn it into um, an enemy barrel. I just, I just, I'm always surprised whenever it happens. <laughs> That's it. I'm just always surprised. Uh, what is this door over here? I don't know, just quick like food check. I know we've got food. Just gotta go back back for it. Right cells. I need these to live. All right, so we're done with the floor. Oh, um, we're actually not really done with the floor. There's still like 15 enemies left over here. I want to kill them just in case they've got like. More resources, more food and whatnot. I remember this. Oh, I tried to roll. Come on. 
Barrel Gun does not have any synergies on burning targets. Okay. We're still at max HP once we leave the floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit more paranoid now. I'm, I'm just watching the barrel as I shoot it, and I'm like, oh god! That was just scary, because I was like, what is it gonna do when it hits the trap? Don't mantle! If I'm holding down, don't go up! <laughs> you? Okay, well, that's scary. That one should be obvious. <laughs> if I'm holding down, don't climb up. Uh, where's our food? There it is. Okay, we're at 98% health. And if we want to grab something, now's the time. Like Pyrotechnics, which does the same amount of damage as a barrel gun, but doesn't kill me. I like it. And then we also have an infantry bow, which I like. And I know I'm doing the same thing. I'm going ranged on a on a brutality build. But I just like the weapons. The weapons are solid. You know, they do good damage. They've got a little bit of range on them. I will do a uh, a more melee focused run, but I, I need some good weapons right now. Dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna get another outfit. Oh, we're at a thousand cells. And then we, we have to flawless one boss and then get that last item unlocked. We're, we're getting so close. <laughs> Okay, Prison Depths. Even when he tries to do a Brutality Run, Abe turns it into a Tactics Run. There we go! Oh, there you go! <laughs> Vorpan. We've done it. Shots pierce the first target on Pyrotechnics and Infantry Bow. I think we should take the Vorpan. I think we should, we'll hold on to the bow in case we want to keep it, but we've got a Vorpan, we got Pyrotechnics, we've got a lot of burn. I want him to teleport to me so I can kill him more easily. We, we have, oh, also enemies are going to be spawning in. We have our synergies. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Too many enemies. <laughs> okay, look. This is an easy one. It does a lot of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, 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 easy. I gotta, I gotta figure out what's doing the oil. Sir, well, syringe. It's my downward smash attack covers the ground in oil. If an enemy walks through the oil, do they get oiled? Because it seems like sometimes enemies get oiled when they touch oil and sometimes they don't. That was good. Have we been hit yet? We're at 31. We've not been hit yet. Keep it going. Keep it going. Got a carrot. Don't need it. Hello. I didn't even see him, I heard him teleport before I saw him teleport. <laughs> then I was like, what is that? Ah, uh, you jerk. I see the rat. Don't tell me I don't see the rat. Who are you? 
Oh, okay, he died. I don't want to use the syringe. You got me. I don't want to use the syringe because I want to. I want to hold on to these cells. I got things to unlock. Not much, but I want to spend cells unlocking things. You know. Come here. I'm always surprised when uh, they get the shots off because of their angle of attack. They can attack higher than you can attack lower, at least with some weapons, like uh, the one we have right now. Ah, oh, freaking crystals, are you kidding me? I, I, I guess I can't get through you? Okay. You know, I'm just gonna leave this elite. I, I, I fight elites too much. <laughs> if it's like one of the worst elites in one of the worst positions, why not just like let him live? Let him, let him, let him, let him live. You know, you don't need to fight him. He's good, he's happy. He's doing his thing, let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. Oh God, you on the other hand, you deserve nothing. What the heck, he turned into another elite. We also got our legendary uh, fire blast again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, hold, t take this and then look for a second. Hold on, do this. Okay, fire blast. It's probably better than pyrotechnics, so we'll, we'll keep it. We don't really have as much oil synergy as we would like, but we got it again, okay. I feel a little bit better. No, 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 no. Oh my God. So we got some of our health back. When, when you, whenever you get stuck in between two enemies that are hitting you, there's like no chance in hell of getting out of it. You will get owned because they will just keep you stun locked forever. Okay, well, at least we made it through the level. <laughs> Barely. Uh, let's just go heal up and then get the heck out of here. Why no survivability run? I've been trying to get a, a brutality run working and I wanna keep going with the brutality. That's just the only reason why. Pretty much just because. I think I'm better at survival runs because survival runs give you so much health that sometimes it feels like it's hard to die. When you get to the final boss with 60,000 HP, you're like, oh, this is, uh, this is easy. Is this skills? It's weapons. I mean, I suppose I don't really want to change anything. We have uh, colorless and legendary. Firebrands. I mean, we could just go full ranged, but I want to keep the Vorpan for now. Ogrim, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Welcome. No, no, no. We want to go root. Yeah. Fight some ticks. Oh, God. Ticks? <laughs> I guess I'm just going to be using the flamethrower against the ticks, but I should have really got a shield coming down here. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Reroll the pan, though. I need, a, I need better modifiers. Spreads oil on the enemies is freaking perfect. And now we've got recovery to boot. Let's freaking go. So now we're gonna get crits out of our flamethrower. Although it doesn't really improve the damage all that much. It does give you extra fire damage too. Like fire DOT. You, yeah, you attack backwards. Okay. 
You, right, I forgot that you turned too. Yo, this is getting a little hard. You hit, you hit back, backwards too. Yo, 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 yo. I, I don't want to fight these guys anymore when uh, when there's this much malaise. Also, they're very fast. I guess this is um the high malaise level that we're at. We actually get enemies that um, that move and attack faster. And teleport faster. They teleport a lot faster. <laughs> Yo, come here. Let me hit you with oil. I guess oil um, doesn't keep the fire stacks on forever. It just makes them do more damage. That's where I was mistaken. I dodged the wrong direction. That's where I was mistaken. I thought the oil would like reset the time on the fire stacks, but it doesn't. I hope that we have disengagement again. We do. It kind of suck if we didn't. It's okay. You know what? There's a food store here too. So one is. Ooh, there's also cheese. Once we find the food store, we should be able to um, get some cough syrup. He's coming. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no! You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Damn it! <laughs> Every time, man. It also spreads oil. Although it doesn't pierce. Does it pierce? Yeah, it does pierce, okay. Dude, every time. <laughs> Whew. Oh, it's the food shop. Give me this, give me this. Now, we're, we still have a lot of malaise, but uh, it's a little bit more manageable. Once we defeat the boss, hopefully that'll uh, cool it down a little bit. <laughs> oh. I thought I was close enough to him that he wouldn't be able to hit me because he's got a very long blowgun. Brutality, man. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. I don't know. Maybe I just, maybe I, I think last time I tried this, I came to the same conclusion, which is I need to be rolling a shield. Although that time it was, um, was it two curses that got me? I mean, I think it might've been two curses that got me. Those freaking blowgunners, man. They, they changed their angle so quickly that uh, it's hard to really get close to them. Uh, you've got to really make sure that you time your dodge roll correctly because when they stop moving, their blowgun is not when they shoot. They shoot about a half second afterwards. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Look, all this does is reinforce the idea that I need to practice my brutality runs a little bit more. And not even necessarily running ranged weapons with the brutality runs, but I just need to practice s sword and board style. You get in there, you hit things, you get out. I know that survival has most of the shields, but um, I think it would still help for a uh, brutality run. Although, um, you know, there's a lot of um, of good ranged brutality weapons. Throne daggers, fire, infantry bow. Whatever. You know what they say. Practice, pra practice, practice, practice makes perfect. <laughs>